In this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to create first Cypress automation test. And finally, we are going to see how to create the logs in the Cypress automation test. So here I have already installed the Cypress in my case. I have created another new folder called uh, Cypress full course. And here I have installed it Cypress. Now I will run the another command called npm run Cypress open. So this will open the Cypress window. And after selecting the configurations, it will open the browser. So it has opened the Cypress window. So here we have to select uh, what type of testing we are performing. And then we have to select the browser. So we are selecting E2E testing. And it will take few seconds to load. And here you can select the second option, Cypress support e2e.js and click on continue. And here you can select whichever the browser you like it. So in my case, I will select a Firefox browser. And here I'm going to create a new spec. And here I'll add the file name as first Cypress test. That's it. I will click on create spec. So I will keep as it is. So we will come to this particular file from the VS code and we will create the first Cypress automation test. So that's it guys. So this particular test just it contains the go to this particular URL. That's it. There are no more steps. So simply I will close this particular file now. So we will re reopen this particular thing in another few minutes. So I will open this particular folder in the Visual Studio code. So here I'll go to the file and open folder. So I will select the Cypress full course folder. And that's it. So under the Cypress folder, E2E folder, we have created a one JavaScript file. So it has already created a template. So this is describe is nothing but the test suit. So let's add the test suit name as test suit one. And already it has added the one test. So here I will specify the test name as my test, my first test I'll say. That's it. So here by using the cy dot visit. So whatever the URL you will add it here. So it will goes to the this particular URL. So before we add the URL, let's discuss the manual scenario. So we will open the browser and after that we will enter this particular URL. And then in the search box, we are going to search with the JavaScript by testers talk then we are going to click on the search icon that's it guys so this is a scenario what we are going to automate by using the cypress automation framework so let's copy the url first and here i will add the url so whatever you add it inside the visit method so it goes to that particular url so after going to the url we have to identify the this, this particular search text box, right? So let's open once again youtube.com and we have to identify the this particular search text box. So simply inspect this particular search text box. So let me bring it down. And if you look at here, so that particular search text box is getting highlighted. So it has multiple properties by using the ID we are going to identify this particular search text box so here I'll copy this particular value that is ID so here I'm writing the simple CSS selector firstly I'm using the tag name and followed by that I'm adding the attribute name and equal to 
in the double quotes we are adding the value so that's it it is highlighting the this particular text box and also you can see here it is matching one of one simply copy this particular selector and come here and here we have to use the command called cy dot get so inside the get you need to specify the our selector within the single quotes so simply add the selector value here so firstly we are navigating to this particular youtube.com and then we are identifying the search text box so after identifying this search text box we have to enter the value so by using the method called type you can enter the data in the search text box so simply add the search keywords here inside the type method so here i'll say javascript by testers talk that's it now we have entered the search keyword in the search text box and after that we have to click on the this particular search icon so let's inspect search icon and if you look at here so there is a button tag which has the id and it has also the class value so by using the id we are going to identify this particular search icon so simply i will copy this particular value and followed by that so there is a another tag so that is the yt hyphen icon so after identifying this particular button so we need to focus on the next tag that's the yt hyphen icon so just you can remember this particular tag name so we will be ent entering after identifying the this particular button so here i'll say button and followed by that id and we are enter entering the value and here you need to specify the greater than symbol followed by that you need to specify the tag name so now it is highlighting the this particular search icon and if you look at the match also it is one of one so no need to worry worry about the selectors or the css selectors as of now i will cover css selector in detail in the upcoming tutorials so similar way i will use the cy dot get command in the single quotation i will add the locator then we need to click on this particular search icon right so that's the reason i will call to the method called click that's it so that's it guys so in the first line we are going to this particular website that's uh, youtube.com and we have identified the search text box and we are entering this particular text search keyword in the search text box then we are clicking on the search icon in the youtube.com so that's it guys let's save this particular test and now i will open the once again our test runner so by using the npm run cypress colon open so we will be running this particular test by using the cypress test runner and here i'm selecting the this particular javascript file what we have created in the beginning of this uh, session so if you look at this one so after clicking on that particular js file it has started executing the my first test and if you look at the suit name also it is uh, showing properly from the vs code so it is opening the youtube.com and after that it is searching with the javascript by tester stock and also it is clicked on the search icon also right so let's rerun it so simply you can click on this run all test once again so it will rerun the all the tests which are there inside this particular js file so after opening the youtube.com and it is started searching with the javascript by testers top then it will click on the search icon so that's the test guys and it is working perfectly fine and if you look at look at the status of the test and it is getting passed so this is how you can create the first cypress automation test in the cypress tool now let's see how to add the 
logs or how to create the logs in the Cypress. So it is very simple. So simply I will go to the VS code. So you need to use the simple command called cy.log. And inside the log, you can specify the message. So here I'll say test one is started. So this is a this is a log I'm creating in the test, and after that I'm going to add the another log after going to this particular YouTube dot YouTube.com. So here I'll say the log message as navigated to. YouTube site. So that's it guys. So now I will save this particular JS file and automatically test execution will be started over here, right? So if you look at this one, test execution is started automatically. So whenever you change something in the VS code, so automatically rerun will happen in this particular Cypress test runner. And if you see here, so it is searching with the keywords, which we have mentioned in the Cypress automation test. And our test is working perfectly fine. So let's see the logs it is printing properly or not. So if you see here, so this particular log we have printed in the test, if you see here in this test, so this particular log is printing there. And uh, second log is navigated to the navigated YouTube site. So same log will be printed over here. And if you see here, so it is printed navigated YouTube site. So let's add another log at the end. So here I'll say test one is completed. And here I'll say navigated to YouTube site. So now I will save this particular JS file and automatically rerun will be happening in this particular Cypress test runner, if you see here. So it is started searching with the JavaScript by testers talk and then hit it will hit the search icon finally and this test is perfectly working fine and if you see the output of this particular test so it is working fine and also here you can see the top also so if test is failed so this count will be added over here on the right side so now our test is getting passed the count is added over on the right side so we have printed the log at the end so let's check that particular that particular log is printed pro properly or not. And if you see here at the end, it is printing the test one is completed. This particular log we have created in the VS code at the end of the test. In the upcoming tutorial, we are going to see how you can actually disable printing all these tag details. It can be the fetch, XHR, so all these details. So these details are, uh, we are printing actually which is not required so simply we are printing it so we will see how to disable all these logs also and also we are going to see how you can disable the auto rerun whenever i make changes in this particular file say for example if i'm having 50 test cases so simply it will start executing all the 50 test cases in this particular test runner so that is not accepted how you can stop the automatic test rerun in the cypress also we are going to discuss in the upcoming tutorial.